To be the best at what you do, you need to regularly reach new heights. The US adheres strictly to this principle, allowing them to create some of the most ambitious and expensive projects in the field of aircraft construction. One of these projects is the SB-1 Defiant, the multi-purpose helicopter of the future, which was the result of a partnership between the Sikorsky and Boeing aviation companies. US military engineers have produced many legendary helicopters. Just take a look at the AH-64 Apache, an aircraft known to even those who haven't the slightest interest in military equipment. Some of the more contemporary models, such as the Bell V-22 Osprey, still catching glances with its futuristic look. And the spiritual successor of the Huey, the Sikorsky UH-60, better known as the Black Hawk, are also worth mentioning. Today, we'll talk about the helicopter that will soon replace those. The SB-1 Defiant is a multi-purpose, high-speed helicopter designed to be the most maneuverable, fastest, and survivable attack helicopter in aviation history. It is part of the Future Vertical Lift Military Program, under which the US is developing five helicopters of different sizes featuring the latest equipment sensors, avionics, engines, and armament. Intent on a real revolution in combat capabilities, the creators predict not only a promising future for the model, but also widespread distribution throughout the army by 2035. The Defiant will be able to swiftly navigate even the most difficult terrain, deliver soldiers and cargo to a designated point, and quickly leave hazardous areas in very critical situations with minimal risk. Two helicopters, the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 and Bell Lockheed V-280, were chosen as demonstration models during the development of the FVL program in 2014. Since then, their creators have been actively working to implement their most daring ideas in the newer generation of these little brother Ironbirds. Sikorsky and Boeing unveiled their first result in 2018 by rolling out a Defiant model prototype. And in January 2019, they began ground testing. The first flight of the model took place in late March 2019 at the Sikorsky West Palm Beach site in Florida. Let's focus on ways that the Defiant is superior to the Black Hawk, a helicopter that has already been proving itself in combat for four decades. The first factor in which the engineers excelled was, of course, the speed of the helicopter. The Defiant prototype had already proved this during testing, reaching speeds in excess of 230 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the Black Hawk's top speed comes out to 183 miles per hour. The creators of the SB-1 also intend to increase its performance to up to 290 miles per hour, which will make it even faster. This increase in speed was achieved by using coaxial propellers moving in opposite directions and a push propeller instead of the five-blade main and tail propellers in the UH-60. The coaxial system provides the helicopter with a speed increase of 115 miles per hour, a 60% improvement in combat radius and a 50% improvement in hovering performance in hot and high altitude conditions. The second most significant improvement is the helicopter's cockpit, which has increased in size by 50% in comparison to the UH-60. The SB-1's cargo pod can accommodate 12 armed soldiers and a crew of four, a commander, co-pilot, and two wing mechanics. The Black Hawk has room for 11 soldiers, two pilots, and one flight engineer. If necessary, the helicopter can always be converted into a medevac. In this form, it can carry eight wounded and two accompanying medics. The Black Hawk, in turn, can carry six wounded on stretchers. Moreover, the carrying capacity of the SB-1 is also quite astounding. In one of the pictures of the enhanced version, the Defiant X, you can see how it supports an M777 howitzer, which the Black Hawk simply could not lift. According to military experts, the pusher propeller is capable of providing significant forward thrust during flight. While the opposing rotating propellers guarantee additional lift, stability, 
and smooth operation. This can also give the Sikorsky Boeing helicopter a significant advantage in climbing, vertical takeoff, and landing compared to its UH-60 ancestor. Not to mention that the latter is one of the key highlights of the FVL military program. According to test pilots who experienced the Defiant in action, the pusher propeller is reminiscent of a turbine in a car, or the sensation of taking off on a high-speed airplane. One of the main arguments for the Black Hawk's evolution in maneuverability is that the SB-1 Defiant is capable of making sharp turns at full throttle. Whereas in standard helicopters, the pilot had to slow down noticeably to avoid problems with the maneuver. The SB-1 allows the pilot to change their flight path as quickly as possible, giving them an advantage in combat. The military is confident that future battles will also affect megacities, where such helicopters will be able to easily slip between skyscrapers. Speaking of maneuverability, compared to the Black Hawk, which weighs 12,000 pounds, the Defiant, weighing about 30,000 pounds, floats like a feather with its vertical takeoff system, as opposed to its ancestor that still winds its blades up while on the ground. Keep in mind that we're talking about helicopters with soldiers on board, not just empty helicopters with only a pilot. While creating the Defiance, engineers implemented the latest anti-vibration system, achieving minimum noise levels in comparison to the UH-60 and other legendary helicopters that can be heard from several miles away. This noise reduction was made possible by four generators vibrating a sine wave opposite the rotor frequency. Simply put, the system reminded pilots of a modern noise-canceling headset, allowing them to be less distracted by outside noise. With enemy ground vehicles being a potential headache for pilots, the Army expects a helicopter to fly fast at minimum altitude, being able to slow down as late as possible, decelerating to a hover, or touching down in the landing zone. Although the Defiant performs this maneuver a bit differently, it is many times superior to the UH-60. The SB-1 is capable of decelerating to a hover just half a mile before its final destination, even at about 230 miles per hour. Pilots who have tested this push-pull propeller deceleration capability have called it incredible. In the Black Hawk, they said a similar maneuver would have moved the nose of the helicopter up 30 degrees, leaving the pilot with no way of seeing the landing zone. Instead of the landing zone, these pilots have a nice view of the sky. A defiant pilot will always be able to see everything happening in the landing zone, which is not only an advantage in a combat situation, but also greatly increases the safety of the crew and soldiers on board. Now, let's look at the survivability of this futuristic monster. Some experts have expressed their concerns that in the event of a complete switch to the SB-1, the army will noticeably weaken its survivability when comparing with the impenetrable titan that is the Black Hawk. The engineers who created the Defiant say that they didn't want their creation to lose its speed and maneuverability behind a thick layer of armor. However, as a cherry on top, they did come up with a way to make operations involving the SB-1 even safer. With the pusher propeller off, the Defiant would become an ordinary twin-engine helicopter in spite of the coaxial main propellers. The system is designed so that even if the SB-1 loses its engine, it will still be able to hover and fly at up to 172 miles per hour which means that nothing but multiple direct projectiles can prevent the helicopter from getting soldiers far away in a life or death situation. We could talk endlessly about how advanced the SB-1's cockpit automation has become compared to the UH-60 from the 80s, but what's worth mentioning is that the UH-60 would have been very difficult to turn into a radio-controlled helicopter. Plus, it would have taken more than a million dollars to do so. The Defiance, on the other hand, was originally designed so that pilots could control it remotely. After all, this, along with the use of artificial intelligence as a co-pilot, has become one of the most sought-after requirements in the aviation industry today. 
As for weapons, the UH-60 has a noticeable advantage over its younger counterparts, offering not only six-barreled M134 or GAU-19 machine guns, but also the powerful AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. The Defiant pales in comparison, as so far it doesn't even have a simple air cannon. As an option for the new model, engineers are considering a remote weapon system similar to Crow's, used for ground vehicles. This would provide not only high accuracy, but also the ability to operate at high speeds, which is extremely important when we're dealing with a helicopter flying at almost 300 miles per hour. What do you think of the SB-1 Defiant? Will it be able to surpass its predecessor with these innovative features and enter combat duty by 2030? Be sure to write about it in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to stay tuned. See you soon.